Hey guys, what's up? It's Piper2397 here, and I'm going to do a review on the Alduin Statue Dragon. So, I'm going to first review the crest, and then the dragon. So, let's get on to the crest. So, let me get comfortable. Nice and comfortable, yep. Alright, so, uh, do I even need that on? Yeah. So here you have a whole bunch of shouts on the shout wall. They did a whole bunch of detail putting the black into the shouts, the dirtiness onto the rock, like the moss or whatever. You know, you see all that? But the swirls, look, or the swirls look really cool too, but that is different um looks like a bird sort of uh like you see one eye there one eye there then the beak and then i don't even know what these are but it looks kind of like a dragon head slash bird head slash i don't even know i mean if those weren't there it'd look exactly like a bird but yeah um so it looks like a mountain from the back side pretty much. The back of it just looks a lot like a mountain, really. Sheer size of this thing is pretty amazing too. Um I think this thing has been put into a lot of detail. Or been through a lot of detail just to become this highly detailed. Let's set that aside. Oh yeah, and it's really hollow and light. Um, looks like if you unscrew it, then it'd just be like a giant hollow box. Like sort store stuff in if you needed to. Um, the bottom. It says made in China. It says made in China. This is not a toy for display only. Do not intend for children under 14 years of age. So let's get on to the review of the dragon. The main review of this review stuff. Ow! The dragon's really sharp and pointy. So it just fits right on top. Uh, if you didn't see my last video of me unboxing it, go check that out. Oh yeah, and there's the box in the background. Uh, which is pretty cool how I got the box too. But it's on the PS3 box, so, <laughs> I don't even play PS3, so, let's see. So here's the dragon itself. It's got metallic red eyes. Its mouth is full of teeth, sort of. Uh, Alduin looks beast. Um, just the detail they put into this dragon, just, it's a dragon to die for, literally. It will kill you if you saw it. Heh, <laughs> it's true. Um, its horns are unique because you don't see that on dragons. Those kind of horns. Um, the spikes on his back look pretty cool. Am I get it to zoom on that? Yep. Alright. Transition from the spikes to the wing right there. Looks pretty amazing. And it goes up to a point. Right there. And then the ring the wings have like little ripples and holes in them. Even on this side. Like wear and tear. You got a little bit more on this side, like one little hole there. And then there's another one somewhere else. Oh well. But yeah, the cool like little things sticking out of the wings here. Like little bones or whatever. It's got a metallic paint on it. Let's look at the back side. 
The back of it looks pretty beast too. Doesn't look like something you'd want to try and sneak up on, because how dangerous that thing looks. Tail looks pretty cool. Uh, tail could probably do a lot of damage to a human being too. Probably slice you right in half. Um, but yeah, just be careful with this thing because it could slice you right on open. I'm just joking. No. Some of the claws are pretty strong or sharp, but most of them are kind of dull, designed to be that way, I think. Uh, the detail inside its mouth looks pretty decent. Looks like an actual throat. Like it goes all the way back there and it's cool how it's painted all the way in there too. And all that stuff. It's tongue even has detail on it. There is not a better paint job on anything I have except for on this one. The dragon itself weighs about two pounds. The crest weighs about a pound. About three or four pounds total. I don't even know how much the dragon weighs. Probably three pounds, yeah. But it's totally worth the money I paid for it, which is $60. Brand new in box. I got a great deal on that one. The sheer size of it is just giant. I mean, look, there's my hand. There's Alduin. Uh... There's also this cool horn that sticks up right here. Just goes up right there and the cool rib cage in there, I always like that. I could like squeeze it or whatever. It's not like squeezable really, it's hard as rock. This thing's like not hollow at all. It is um really cool. I just love this dragon statue. I don't plan on selling it anytime soon, really. I don't even know if I'll ever sell it. Take it with me to college and everything, you know? Because they only sent a thousand to a state. So, it's pretty cool. So yeah, it's a unique sculpture, which I'm pretty proud to have. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I got a brand new inbox, brand new, never been touched by any other hands except for the people who made it, but yeah, if you haven't seen my unboxing, go check that out. And this will be in a couple of my other videos, probably. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.